Hi there, thank you for clicking this video. This is my first time putting voice in with my second language, so I'm kind of nervous. Hope you don't mind if I make any grammar mistakes. So, uh, I'm not a professional artist, but when I saw this 100 hats challenge on YouTube like a month ago, I just wanted to give it a try. I learned drawing when I was little, but honestly, I haven't been doing sketches for about 10 years ever since I graduated from middle school. I started in architect school for my bachelor and master, so I would say I still hold pencil and erasers in my hands all the time, but this challenge really surprised me and I want to share with you and explain how I feel in its progress. Sadly, I lost the footage of day one, day two, so here what we see is day three. Um, let's move on to day four. I'm not happy how it looks like on day four because I think it's still not good enough to be shared with anyone. But it's interesting that after the whole 10 days practice, when you look back on your earlier drawing, you see, oh, really? I can improve a little bit. So that's the fun part for me to say. Um, right now, I'm still trying to figure out different angles and different genders because I love drawing girls. Day three, I tried all boys day, but day four, I'm just, oh, have to go back to girls. I still have a lot of things I'm not happy with, like the face I have to fit into the corner because I just didn't really realize how much space I have. Um, so for day five, I'm also trying to mix girls and boys face together and also maybe with different hairstyle. Uh, and also if you pay attention, this boy is from a show. Okay, I'll give you two seconds to think about I'll draw another character from this show again. Here we go. If you don't know, uh, those two characters are from my fairy show. Stranger Things. At the end of day 5, I felt pretty good. Halfway down. Day 6. Wow, it seems like I went back to all girls' pages again. I don't know, I just love drawing girls. Um, I know some people did really crazy things like old men or really young baby face. And also some people did um, game characters, which is really cool, but I don't know because I'm not a game person. Oh, I actually added a tough guy in this page to make it non-all girls. This one's my favorite because Asian face are usually harder to deal with because it's not like three-dimensional enough to draw the structure easily. Day seven, um, on this day, I decided to do more side faces practice. I also started to feel a little bit lazy because keep doing the same thing for two and a half hours every day. Uh, it's really time consuming and energy consuming. Especially every day improvement is not that obvious, so I kind of feel frustrated. Uh, but one thing I did improve is the time. I kind of shrank two and a half hour to two hours per day. So that's kind of improvement, I guess. I finally decided to challenge myself again on the whole boy page. So day 8, I think it's my favorite among all this 10 days practice. I used to not like drawing men because I'm not good at finding the sharp edges of the men's face. Usually I make it too soft or somehow it's so girty. But I'm glad that this practice helped me to draw better on men's face and also have a better understanding of bone and muscle structures. Another thing is I think I can fit all those faces in this page better than before. I have to admit that day 9 is not the real day 9. I just felt so tired and I want to take a break of it. So yeah, this is more like day 11 or day 12 I guess. At this point, I think I'm getting better of defining the face structure quickly. So I basically finished the drawing on day 9 and day 10 within 2 hours, which is pretty quick. Honestly, at the beginning, I wouldn't consider this thing as a challenge because, you know, I was just saying it's just drawing 10 hats per day for 10 days. It's not a big deal. 
But later, it's like, oh man, this is a really challenge. And on the day ten, I'm like, finally, it's the last day. I was so happy about it. For me, this is not just a drawing challenge, also a lifestyle changing thing. Cause I've been staying at home for almost half years after I finished my own wedding, and I didn't really want to go back to my old job working for architecture companies. I always know that I love drawing, but I didn't touch it for so long that I don't know where to start with again. So this challenge kind of gave me a chance to pick up the pencil and eraser again and to figure out what I really want to do.